And I know 
know that so much of the time when we talk about prosperity, we're talking about we're talking about money and things. And money and things are, are fun. But we talked a couple weeks ago about if we hold up things for God, if we hold up things in heaven, then we'll have everything we could ever possibly want to give us an enjoyable life, a life that's worth living. We will receive it. God will bring it to us. And we'll have a life that's worth living. And of course, that would include money and stuff, right? So nothing wrong with having some money and stuff. But it's all about the energy. So going beyond the whole idea of an affirmative statement, going a little bit further than the whole idea of visioning. And we're going to talk about visioning today. But the idea of like, doing a vision board and, and visioning what it is that we want. This, I, I, I want, this goes a little, actually it goes a lot further. We're not talking about just seeing it. We're talking about being it, but being it on a level that we've never been before. Being it on a level that brings joy to our life at a level we've never experienced before, or possibly that we've experienced before and would like to experience more of. Right? I wrote here, do you have prosperity consciousness? What are you telling yourself? You're telling yourself that you can't afford that? You're telling yourself that there's not enough time? Are you telling yourself that Oh, I probably won't get that anyway, and that job probably will go to so-and-so, and if that job goes to so-and-so, then I'll never get another uh, better job, right? Or are you telling yourself, I deserve, and it is my divine inheritance to receive all of God's gifts, period. I get to get that. And we talked last week about the difference between greed for money and the love for money. That sometimes wanting, 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 which we can manifest in our lives. We know. We see people do it all the time. We see people that, you know, if we were judging people, but we're not. <laughs> We might say, that doesn't look too spiritual to me. But they're accumulating. We are manifestors. It can happen. It happens all the time. But the difference between wanting the stuff or the stuff and wanting to be able to live your life for God in service of others. And, you know, this is the good news. The good news is that the secret to all of it, every bit of it, is being of service to others. That's the secret. People will tell you, and even in, in this, um, the book that we're reading, the author of that book tells us that the secret is all in your visualization. And visualization, absolutely, that's how you manifest. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But the happiness, that joy, that overflowing knowing comes from service to others. And when you do that, you receive everything and more that you need. So do you guys have a vision? Everybody get a vision sheet today when they come and sing in? Okay, well get one on your way out if you didn't get one. Because this week we are really looking at, thank you, we're really looking at creating a vision, something that we can focus on, something that we can do these steps that I'm going to show you here in a minute for visualizing. But I bet you if you go
guys thought about it, even for just a nanosecond, you have a vision, right? I love this. It says, like, I used, to, I used to walk around going, I just want God's will for me today. I want God's will for me today. I want God's will for me today. And that's a great vision. Man, I can be happy for a really, really long time just doing God's will every single day. You can't beat that. It's a great life. But it's also not very specific about where I see myself in three years. It's not very specific. And when I was younger, I guess that was okay. But today, I want to be a little more specific about where I see myself. I see myself, um, I saw myself here with you people the first time I got here. Yay. Saw myself here with you. Yeah. And, and then, then I said, if it's God's will, it will be mine. Right? But I had that vision. So I love this. In the absence of a clearly defined goal, we become strangely loyal to performing daily trivia until we ultimately become enslaved to it or enslaved in it or by it. Anybody relate to that at all? Suddenly, yeah. Suddenly we wake up in the morning, we have no vision of where we're going to go for the day, what we're going to do. So we start doing trivia. Things that, of course, you know, need to be done, but without purpose, without um, the desire that manifests, right? And then we end up becoming enslaved to being in our zone of competence or our zone of incompetence or just doing the everyday mundane things, right? So without a vision, Robert Heinlein says, he's, a, he's a, uh, an author, says that we become enslaved by the trivia in our lives if we don't have a goal. I thought that was fabulous. So let's not, I, I want to practice this one. I know we did it last week. Let's say it together. I am abundantly prospered and divinely blessed. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so it is. I have to tell you, I use that one a lot. I still use it a lot. Um, I walk around several times a day and, and I'll, something will happen or I'll see something or um, a piece of mail will come or whatever. I love the mail. Does anybody else love the mail? <laughs> Absolutely love it. I, Debbie one day finally said, what is it about the mail? And anything could come. Anything. <laughs> and many, many wonderful things have come to the mail in the mail that I wasn't expecting. So I just love um, so something will come and I'll just say, I am prosperous. I remind myself of that multiple times a day. I am prosperous. I am blessed and gifted, prosperous, abundant, yay God. So Genevieve, uh, anybody's pronounce that? Barron. Thank you. Wow. My brain. Genevieve Barron gave us five points on how to take the vision that we've created and make it more intense. Right? So it's not just a vision board. It's not just something that we're thinking of and we're going to uh, tape on the wall or, you know, read over a couple times a day or whatever. Although all of those things are a wonderful thing to do. She says, this is the secret. And it's really important, but I'm telling you, being of service is really the secret. I'm not just say it. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do is visualize. We've been talking about that. We've been talking about that for three weeks now. We're going to visualize what it is that we want in our lives. And not just what we want. Let me, who do you want to be? That's really the more important question. Who do you want to be? Are you really happy with exactly who you are right at this moment? Everybody should say yes. yes. Do you see any room for improvement? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Who do you want to be? And if you can envision yourself, I am the woman who, I am the 
the man who, your I am statement, your words, I am. Somebody tell me, somebody give me their I am statement. I am. I am the light of love. I am the light of love. Praise God. I am free of all things sad and control. I am free of all things sad and that control me. That control me. Control. That control me. Yes. Absolutely. Anybody else want to toss one in? I am the woman who wakes up every day and says the prayer, today I want to be happy, joyous, and free one day at a time, being of maximum service to God and those around me. That's the woman I want to be every day. Now, to be of maximum service to God and all the people around me, occasionally I'm going to need some stuff. I'm going to need to be transported somewhere. I'm going to need to have re um, resources. I'm going to need to have knowledge and understanding that might take education or whatever. My point being that if that is the woman that I want to be, Today, I will be provided anything that I need for that to be a reality. So we visualize. We visualize with emotion. I hope you could see the emotion that I was visualizing with. <coughs> we visualize with emotion. We visualize with gratitude. Gratitude is the great multiplier. Need a new car? Start being really grateful for that bicycle. <laughs> I am not kidding you. <laughs> that is how you get that new car. I promise you. You be grateful. You want a new job because you're like, you, you hate that person that's in the cubby next to you. You want a new job. The best and fastest way to get that new job or to get them to get a new job <laughs> is to be grateful that you get to go into work every day. Find yourself something that you can be of service doing at work every day that makes you grateful that you get to go. I'm grateful because I get to pay my electric bill because I went to work this week. Until you can be grateful sitting right where you are, somehow or another, we don't get money. Gratitude. Visualize that new job with gratitude for the one that you have. And visualize God's will for us. What's God got in store for me today? And the easiest way to do that is to say, as I'm visualizing something, now I'll say, this God or something better. Because I can tell you in my lifetime, my visions for what I want look like this next to what God ends up giving me. Right? How many of you can attest to that? I know you can. If I was set on this little tunnel vision of what I saw, I'd be out in the backyard with a pop-up tent right now. <laughs> It's, it's the truth, because that looked good to me. But God had a different plan, right? <laughs> so visualize, and then we have to harmonize. Ooh, 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 ooh. That means we have to really, we have to actually behave like the person we want to be. We have to behave. We have to quit judging. We have to quit gossiping. We have to stop doing the things that make us feel bad about ourselves. I, I love it when people come in and they say, Reverend, you know, I, I, I feel so bad when I do this. <laughs> then stop doing it. <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> stop doing those things that are, I mean, we're talking about coming up to a different level of energy. We can't be there if we are down here. We have to raise our consciousness, our behavior, our thoughts, everything about us to the 
the radio waves, the energy level of what it is that we want to be. And I'm going to start just always saying we want to be because it's really about what you want to be, what you want to become, and all the wonderful stuff will come along with it. The, um, the next thing you have to do is sensorize. What a fun word is that? I had to add that to my dictionary when I did this. <laughs> sensorize. In other words, when you are um, thinking about it, visualizing it, you see the pictures of it, think about what it would feel like. Think about what it would feel like to walk into that new job. What would your, the top of your desk feel like? What would the smell be in the room? You incorporate all of your senses into the visualization. And then you have to actionize. You know, we follow, we, we live in, a, in law, in, in natural law, in God law, in the universal law. We live in it. And then taking this prosperity uh, class together or um, these lessons, we agree to follow these laws or to pay attention, to pay attention to these laws. Um, the first law of the universe being order. I have an office and a spare bedroom that need to be put into order. Those are my commitment I'm making for order. Oh, I had the most fun. I bought a wallet. Yeah. Now, those of you who took class understand that I, I don't know, I didn't own a wallet, didn't have a wallet. And Debbie, I mean, it's so funny, I didn't really notice that she notices as much as she does. <laughs> but I said something about, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get a wallet. Because I told everybody in class, we were saying, what is the money? What is it about money that we're still telling ourselves? And I, I got to thinking after talking with my partner that Wednesday night, I said, I still tell myself that I don't have any walking around money. Like, I have no cash. Now, I've been telling myself that since my daughter was born because she's been cleaning my pocket out every day. But she's 25 now. She's not doing that anymore, right? She quit school, I mean, she quit school but she, she grown and out of the house. She is not taking my money for school the next day. But I'm still walking around without pocket money. And when I do get it, I literally have nowhere to put it. And so there's a dollar here and a dollar there. And Debbie actually goes, oh, really? You're going to quit putting a dollar here and a dollar there? And I was like, wow, I guess there really is that much to look at. <laughs> Very cute. So I went out and got a wallet. And it is in order. And when I left the class, I said, a new wallet with a $100 bill in it. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the end of the story. When I woke up, it had a hundred dollar bill in it. <laughs> she said she needed the five to pay the lawn guy. <laughs> but I thought it was fun. Yay! How wonderful is that? So I've still got it in there. I'm going to show each and every one of you Wednesday night that I have walked around money. So actionize it. Go out and organize what you need to organize. Give 10% of your income to the places and people who spiritually feed you. Do that. It's, it's the law. Um, excuse me. Tithe your time and talents. We've got a work day coming up. Hey, come on. We have committees here at church that need help. Oh, see all those little things on the window back there? Those are all things that could be done at the church. If you need volunteer time, we're talking about about four hours a week, if you're really going to dedicate 10% of your time, a 40-hour week would be four hours. There's plenty of little things back there on the window. You can pull one right off, and we'd be happy to let you help us do that. Right? So, so put your 10, you know, put the 10% in. Take your full time to the storehouse. Then put God to the test. Test it. Test it. And I will pour in for you so much stuff, so much abundance that you won't even be able to handle it. Right? 
give it a try. I, I know what happens. I know it works. Then, um, as you give the law of, of giving, of course, I've been talking about that with the. Uh, uh, I have these great videos I want to show you. Um, and I'm going to show you those now because, you know, I can keep you guys here until 1 o'clock and, and uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Although, you know what, I have a sneaking suspicion that the majority of you would just sit there. <laughs> now, you might talk about me later. She kept us in the I bet you guys have seen it. You guys are so sweet. I, I want to show you a couple of videos. The magic of giving. The magic of giving of yourself, of your time, of your talents, of your treasures. Can you guys hit the lights? <coughs> Thank you. I'm going to give this a try.